Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello, everybody. Thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is Intuition Ale Works. They're out of Jacksonville, Florida. This is their John Boat Coastal Ale. And according to what I have here, this is a Kolsch beer. Coming in at 4.50 ABV. Uh, see, grains in North American two row malted barley, German Munich malt, and it says acid malt. Hops is Magnum and yeast is English Ale. 20 IBUs on this beer, guys. Uh, I looked on the can everywhere. Uh, I don't see a date on it. There's nothing on the bottom to tell when it was done. It's very unusual. Most of the cans have the date on them, so I'm going to hack on them. Uh, need to get a date on the can here, guys. Uh, we need to know how old the beer is. And it does have a barcode, and it has some other little code underneath there, but I don't have any idea what it means. It's undistinguishable as far as uh, the regular day code, guys. Uh, well, let's get on with the show, guys. Year-round availability. Food pairings with this cuisine is German. Uh, the meat for this is pork, fish, and shellfish. The glassware is a stange, which is a sl slender cylinder type glass. I have the Beck's glass here, guys. That's what I'm going to use. And it's not recommended for extended cellarings. This is one of the beers that I got uh, in the beer mail from Johnny in Florida. And uh, Johnny, I appreciate you sending these up. He sent me three, and it looked like somebody fired a bazooka into the box, and, and one of the cans did not survive. So, uh, and I don't think it was anything on his part. It looked like it was packaged well. It just looked like the damn gorillas had handled this stuff. Just looked like it chucked it out of the airplane as it was coming in or something. So, it did not. Uh, and I'm actually surprised that it, it, that it made it. Uh, usually, when you have one. Uh, get popped open or the breakage and they smell the beer and all that they usually just return it to the sender so they were they just wrapped it in plastic put it in another box and sent it on to me I appreciate them doing that <laughs> we had two survivors anyway <laughs> now this thing is probably gonna produce a monster head guys so I don't want a monster head so I'm gonna ease up on that a pour I've already got a good two finger head in there already guys. Glass is just big enough, wasn't it? What do you think? Let me get that around there where y'all can see. It's got a nice, looks like a crappy or a bluegill or something on the front of it. It's hard to tell. It's blue. <laughs> Alright guys. Looks very golden in, in the glass. It's clear. I can see the bulb right through it. A lot of bubbles streaming up from this one, guys. Very carbonated. Looks very good in the glass. Now the Kolsch style it's not one of my favorites, not my style, but I try to give them all equal opportunity and try to expand my palate in the meantime. So let's get a nose on this one and see what it smells like. I'm getting like a, a bready yeast and a sweet smell, like, like corn or something. Yep, smells like corn to me. It's got a little citrusy smell to it. I mean, it's not 20 IBUs, so it's not going to be all that. It's not going to be all that bitter. Just bready yeast and just a little citrusy. That's all I'm getting, guys. Well, cheers. Let's see what it tastes like. Got a little twang to it. Definitely bready. Easy drinking. I mean, very easy drinking. Very sessionable. You could pound these if they were ice cold. You really could. Got a pleasant taste. I don't find anything off. It has 
doesn't have any overwhelming taste one way or the other. Just fairly simple, fairly easy drinking culture style beer. A little bready, a little yeasty, a little twang there. Not much. Very light. Nice lacing leaving on the glass there. Sorry, doing a nice job on that, guys. Wow. Well, it's right out of the fridge, 40 degrees. Again, Johnny, I appreciate you sending me these beers. We're going to probably do the IPA tomorrow, so I'll get both of these back to back and, and let you know what I think of them. So, guys, uh, we're going to let it warm up just a hair, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Let me hit it one more time. Very sessionable, very easy drinking. It's got a malty taste to it, a little bready, a little biscuity. And a little sweet, like it's got some corn and stuff in it. So, be a good one to to do a converted macro lager on too. So, this one has a little more taste than what the Budweiser and, and the Millers and Coors are going to have. But uh, it's nothing to write home about. It's a very sessionable, easy drinking, very light beer, guys. So, I don't know. Very nice, uh, like I said, but it's a little on the bland side for my taste. Uh, I like something with a little more punch to it than that. But if you're trying to convert a friend of yours over from one of the macros, uh, this would be a good one to offer them in place of a IPA or a stout, which is going to blow their palate out of their mouth. So this is a little on the lighter side, so a little more toward the lawnmower style beer as far as, as, far as that concerned, especially with the four and a half ABV too. So once again, Johnny, thanks for sending this in. Uh, uh, I wish it had a date on it. Uh, that's the only thing I really could hack on is it's not having a date. Cause most cans got something on the bottom of them there. It's not, it's not a big thing to put a date on a can as far as I know. Uh, guys, I'm going to give it a 5. This is a B-, minus, above average beer, but it's definitely in the B category, not the A category. So, uh, Rate Beer has it at 37 overall and 47 in the style. And Beer Abbott comes up at the NA, which uh, I don't know if they've had enough reviews or, or whatever. It just says it has uh, 6 reviews. So uh, I don't know why they can't base it off of that. So as far as I'm concerned, it's a it's a it's a decent beer to to convert a macro lager friend onto or whatever. But it doesn't have enough taste for me, guys. So if you've had this one, give me some comments back. Liked it, loved it, best thing you ever had. And as always rate, comment, subscribe, and we're gonna try to pop the other one. And he sent us tomorrow. And I think it's an IPA. Join me then. We'll find out together. See ya.